Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your KWHS News. December college visits kick off this Thursday when the reps from the Universal Technical Institute stop by. Students, if you are interested in becoming a technician in the automotive, diesel, marine, or motorcycle industry, this is the visit to attend. This program is based off of industry. You're coming into not just another classroom, you're coming into a family setting. You're coming into a full-fledged manufacturing facility. This is definitely a lot more hands-on than what you would do in school because it's a bigger building and you have more equipment available for you. We learned a lot about tools, how to use them safely and properly. We got three-way axis routers. We have table saws that we can use. The machines are very high-tech. This completely changes the definition of a wood shop. In this program, you really learn independence and leadership. Definitely teamwork. You have to be verbal about what you need. There's a lot of jobs that revolve around this type of work. Level. Everyone pretty much gets drilled into their head uh, from kindergarten on that college is pretty much the only way uh, to go after high school and it's really not uh, so this kind of helps broaden that path. You learn a lot more than just woodworking. You learn how to live. Freshmen, sophomore, and juniors, remember to stop by the Counseling Center to pick up and return your permission slip for the mill tours. The tour is on Tuesday, December 11th from 10 to 11.30 a.m. Your permission slips must be in by Tuesday, December 4th. Ladies, remember, the mill could be a really good career path, so you should sign up as well. Remember, college visits happen during advisory and at lunch, so be sure to pick up your pass from the Counseling Center. And if you missed any of these dates, you can always check out the Counseling Center calendar or go to their website. And now. Now, we're heading to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Cheyenne Gallier. Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Cheyenne Gallier, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. In basketball news, our men's team is traveling to Pueblo South this Thursday, December 6th, for a game at 7 p.m. The Lady Glads will be back in Bowers Gym next Tuesday, December 11th, against Fountain Fort Carson at 7 p.m. This is going to be a great year, and you should come out and support our basketball teams like Rex's Rowdies do. The forensics team was at Liberty High School over the weekend for their NSDA meet, and here are the results. The team is scheduled for a meet at home on December 15th. Glads, today is the day our Lady Grizzlyators jump into the pool against Manitou Springs at 4 p.m. The ladies are on the road, but they would really appreciate your support. If you are unable to make it to this meet, the ladies will be back in the water on Saturday against Pueblo Centennial. Our wrestling team debuted their, their ladies team on Friday at the TCA meet, and here's how they did. We are very excited about their success this year. The team is traveling to Falcon this Thursday for a meet at 6 p.m. Tune in on Friday when Damon's Dose of Health will be about sleep habits. That's it for your Monday Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Cheyenne Gallier. Have a great week. Now back to Kieran and Ethan for more news. Thanks for keeping us posted, Cheyenne. If you have a sweet tooth, Senior Council will be having a bake sale this Wednesday, December 5th, during advisory in the Lower Commons. They're also holding a drawing for a cake from the bake sale. You can purchase your chance to win a whole cake at lunch today and tomorrow in front of the main office. Those tickets will cost $1. Freshman Council will be hosting a hat day this Friday, December 7th. As always, you can buy your wristband for a dollar or you can donate a canned good or other non-perishable items for the 180 Club food baskets. 
needs. You can get wristbands starting on Thursday and Friday morning before school or see Ms. Hines in the math department. Glads, over the next few weeks, we're going to be telling you about several fundraisers to benefit the WSD3 toy drive as well as the 180 Club Christmas food boxes. Both of these drives are critical to our community because they benefit our students and their families. If you are able to donate, please do so. Here's the information for the 180 Club Christmas food basket drive. The club is trying to provide a holiday meal as well as meals to cover the 18 days we'll be out of school for over 30 families. Many of our students depend on school lunches to eat, so this is often a hard time for some of our students and their families. Some of the items you might consider donating include food for a typical holiday meal like fixings for green bean casserole, potatoes, stuffing, cranberry sauce, gravy, and box desserts. You can also bring in soup including ramen noodles, peanut butter and jelly, crackers, or snacks like granola bars or pretzels, tuna, mac and cheese, microwave popcorn, oatmeal, or cereal. Remember, all these donations will go to families of students right here in our school. Bring your donations to Mr. Sickmiller in room 5 so the 180 Club can start putting those baskets together. They will also take good old cash money. Thanks for your help on this very important event. The WSD3 Toy Drive kicks off tomorrow. If you are able to donate to this event, please bring in unwrapped toys for children of any age. For high school students, they are asking for gift cards to general places like Target, Walmart, or Amazon. Gifts will be distributed on December 20th. 20th. And now, here's the lunch crew with our lunch menu. Happy Monday! Monday! Happy Monday, Monday! Got any apples? Oh, apples? apples? I, you know, I'm gonna get some apples tomorrow. The kids really like them. Yeah, I hear they do. Okay. Especially the seeds. Especially the seeds. Mm -hmm. Here, apple seeds are very popular in some classes. Orange peels might be in there too, I'm not sure. Yeah. I heard, I just heard. I just heard. What's for lunch? Hey, we're having that oven fried chicken. Oven fried or oven baked? Oven, let's go oven baked. Oven cooked. Oven cooked, yeah. It's cooked. Cooked in the oven. With apples? Is it going to be apples available? No, not till Tuesday. So what else is going to be available on Tuesday? Chibaga, chibaga, chibaga. Oh. Uh. With all the goody toppings and Yum. fries. So. I like cheeseburgers. Hope to see you then. Have a good Monday. Have a good Monday. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please pay your outstanding lunch charges in the cafeteria with Miss Betsy or go online to add money to your account. Glads. NHS has tutoring sessions every Thursday in the library. Come by the library to sign up for an appointment and pick up your pass. They can help you with writing papers, studying for tests, or just beefing up your grades before the semester ends. Listen up for these important yearbook notes. Yearbook prices are no longer $55, but you can still order your book by going to the business office or online at yearbookforever.com. Seniors, if you would like to ensure the yearbook staff received your senior quote, photo, and baby ad, Check with Miss Kennedy in room 104 during lunch or after school. And finally, the yearbook staff would like to include photos of your whips in the yearbook. If you have an amazing photo of your car and you want to see it in the yearbook, contact Bailey Stevenson at this email address to get your car pick in the yearbook. The band will be hosting Breakfast with Santa, featuring the jolly old elf himself and his missus this Saturday, December 8th from 8 to noon in the small gym. You can enjoy a pancake breakfast, music, crafts, and of course, pictures with Santa. It's a fun community event that that is sure to get you in the holiday spirit. The cost for this fun-filled morning is $4 for adults and $2 for children with a max of $20 per family with immediate members. One more community event that is sure to jumpstart your holiday spirit is the Widefield Parks and Rec Holiday Tree Lighting on Tuesday, December 4th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Come enjoy the photo booth, s'mores, holiday shopping, caroling, hay rides, cookies, and hot drinks and of course, Santa Claus. Four food trucks will be available for your dinner needs, and you can also bring non-perishable food, new unwrapped toys, or gently use coats to help our local families. That's it for our Monday edition, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.